earlier in the week I came to you with a video about the fact that I'm hearing a lot of different points that lead me to believe that Justin Trudeau is actually teeing up to call a fall election um, because of a wide variety of factors. But today, I, I went for my run this morning, I came back, my phone was going nuts. There is an explosive story, like this is an explosive story by Ottawa standards. It's what everybody's talking about this morning in the National Post. It was written by columnist John Iveson and its title is Trudeau's literally frightening spending plan has some liberals, bureaucrats, very worried. Now, what is unique and about this column and why it's explosive is that all of the sources in it are government bureaucrats. Typically, government bureaucrats don't leak to journalists this way or not as overtly. So it's in, that in and of itself makes it unique. But the story is crazy and I want to unpack for you the sort of behind the scene gossip, the read between the lines of this column and what it means and why it's important to you, especially if you're a Canadian business or if you're looking to invest in Canada, because this is a very concerning article. So the article, um, you can read it on National Post, it, it unpacks bureaucrats saying that Justin Trudeau is planning in the throne speech to fundamentally alter the structure of government with further out of control deficit with no plan in terms of what that means. Essentially what, what's being said in here is that uh, you know, in, in his bid to distract from his, scan, uh, his scandal, he's just going to literally go for broke. And government bureaucrats, and many of these people, you know, would, like, they, they, they're, they're putting their careers at risk by doing this, are so concerned that they're coming out and leaking to journalists. So I'm going to give you eight quick points about what I'm hearing this morning and what this really means. So first of all, this government is out of control. Like that's the number one thing that I'm hearing from everybody this morning. Like Trudeau's out of control. Freeland, they're out of control. They're so out of control that government bureaucrats are feeling like they have to leak to columnists because parliament is suspended. There's been no budget. There's no oversight of spending. And literally these bureaucrats who, again, they're putting their jobs on the line. They're they feel like they're the last line of defense. So that's something to take away. And that's really bad for Canadian business because we need stability in the finance department uh, in order for people to want to invest in Canada. So that out of control nature is very bad. And it says that the department doesn't have confidence in either the prime minister or the new finance minister. The other thing is this is Team Morneau, right? Remember how in that video I said that uh, Team Morneau are not going to go gently into that good night? Well, they're not. This is um, this is definitely got Morneau's fingerprints all over it, um, or those who are loyal to him. So that thing that I talked to you about in that video, if you haven't watched it, it's the last one in my feed. Bill Morneau is going to be a thorn in Justin Trudeau's side because of how he was treated out the door. The third thing is like, the, can, imagine how crazy it is that the bureaucrats are the last line of defense for you with your Canadian tax dollars. Like, think about that for a second, right? Like, Par Justin Trudeau has eroded Parliament so much that Finance Canada bureaucrats that have governed under, you know, arguably the most, like, irresponsible prime minister in the history of Canada are feeling like they have to speak out in order to get some attention to this issue. The fourth point is that the, the article itself talks about how there's a lot of rumors and gossip that senior staff within Finance Canada that have been pushing back on Trudeau and Freeland in recent days are going to be fired. I like to call this being Jody Wilson Raybolded in the Trudeau government. What does being Jody Wilson Raybolded mean? It means she was the, as you'll remember, she was the former justice minister who stood up against Justin Trudeau. There were a lot of allegations about Justin Trudeau abusing his power uh, in order to um, potentially assist SNC-Lavalin. And uh, by all intents and purposes, she was fired because of that. So essentially what you've got here in this story is bureaucrats who are worried for their jobs because they're doing their job for you, which is to say, why are we spending Canadians' money on this? We can't just do this. There's, there's, there's implications to this. 
The fourth thing, or the fifth thing, is that this is going to create massive uncertainty for business. If you read that story this morning and you sat on a corporate board, you would actually be thinking twice about making your investment right now. Because if there's this much level of uncertainty in Finance Canada, that does not bode well for the Canadian economy writ large. So, you know, I. I, I this is not great. Like again, going back to that point of it being out of control, he doesn't. Trudeau doesn't have a hand on uh, or man, control of Finance Canada. Clearly, Chrystia Freeland is not going to have control over Finance Canada unless they fire people who care about fiscal prudence and responsibility. The bureaucrats, the public service, who they've been throwing under the bus with the We Charity scandal. You'll remember that. Um, this is very bad for business writ large. And if you're watching this, and you know you, you, you're you're a government relations person in in uh, a company, or you're looking to make an investment, you should be concerned about this article. You should read it. It it does not bode well for Justin Trudeau's leadership. Um, number six, I don't think Christia Freeland is going to be able to get control of this situation. Um, unless, of course, they just lop everyone heads off that dare speak out against their remaking of Canada in their own image. And that's not a democracy. That's not how you treat the public service, right? So I, I don't think Christia Freeland, this was a shot across the bow for Christia Freeland as well. And it doesn't bode well for her going forward. Number seven, Okay, some of you, I know some of you, some of you are, you know, former friends that I grew up with in Winnipeg and, you know, we talk from time to time. You're like, oh, Michelle, it, you just, you're just a conservative. I mean, like, it's not that bad. But you're like, when I talk to people like this, they think it's like Paul Martin is still the prime minister, right? Like 20 years ago, uh, it's the Liberal Party of 20 years ago where they actually talked about fiscal responsibility and balancing the budget. This is not Paul Martin, Jean Chrétien's Liberal Party. I'm not saying that I was a fan, but I'm saying that like the Liberal Party is no longer the centrist party of Canada. This this article here, when they're talking about like this, what Finance Canada bureaucrats are saying is like this party is like a far left, socialist, radical crazy party. So if you're watching this and you, you know, you, you've been a like lifetime liberal supporter under, you know, the auspices of Palmer and stuff that this article here just totally puts to bed any, any assumptions to that effect. Um, and the last thing is the point number eight is that it's very, very clear that Justin Trudeau has not only no plan for the economy, but he's going to use the throne speech either right away or over a short period of time as an election wedge, right? So he's going to try and distract from his scandal. This is what this is what's happening in this article. It's very clear to me. He's going to try and distract from his scandal, his lack of a plan, all of his failures, try to get some like credibility with the woke international crowd about being brave and courageous by essentially just having no oversight and approving like crazy debt. Like imagine, like what I read from this is like the prime minister about to go on like a drunken bender with a credit card and like that, that never ends well, right? That's very, very bad and uh, this is not good. And you know, I guess if you're watching this, what I would say is be aware of this, share this video so that you know when he puts the throne speech out, speech out what his motivations are. Now, two points of optimism at the end of, the, at the end of this video that I really want you to, to take away. First of all, um, Aaron O'Toole had a really great week in Parliament. Um, as you know, I, I didn't endorse anyone in the leadership race. I didn't really play. But I have to say, um, his announcement of his House leadership team yesterday impressed me. It was, they were really smart choices. I can say that the conversations that I've had with caucus colleagues uh, over the last time, like it, it, there's a real sense of optimism on like getting back to the grind of fighting, right? That's a good thing. So I, I do think that in a very short period of time under the leadership of O'Toole, um, our party is going to be able to provide a very clear and co stark contrast to this out of control spending, bureaucrats leaking to the government situation. I'm, I'm very optimistic about that. And um, you know, I guess my last point would be to the, if there's any bureaucrats from Finance Canada who are watching this, look, you might not be of my political stripe, 
Uh, you might not be of the government's political stripe. You, you know, you might be watching this going, I can't believe this is happening today. I just want to thank you for speaking up um, as a legislator and as somebody who has a responsibility of representing 120,000 ish people in Calgary and has, I don't have the ability right now to scrutinize the government because Justin Trudeau has prorogued parliament. We've been suspended for months. Literally you guys in finance right now are the last line of defense. And if you're not speaking up, like it's over for us and you know that. So I guess what I want to say is have courage. We will support you. Uh, this isn't a partisan thing. This is about having scrutiny over Canadian tax dollars, which is not happening. And you should be asking those questions. And if you have a minister or a prime minister or any staff, political staff that are telling you that it is wrong to do otherwise, they're in the wrong, not you. It's literally your job to be providing that advice. And if you're going, if you feel like you're going to be punished for it, speak up. We, the Canadian public will have your back. And on that note, I'm going to get on to having their backs today and uh, get back to my work. Please share this video. Please talk about it over the long weekend. We've got to have a change in government, you guys, and we've got to have it soon. Working hard for you. Have a great day.